There are two types of nucleic acids, DNA and RNA. DNA is a large linear molecule designed to store genetic information in all cells. RNA serves as a blueprint for proteins and occurs in three forms, transfer RNA, ribosomal RNA and messenger RNA. It has been said that nucleic acids are like an onion. As biologists peel away a layer of complexity, underneath lies another layer waiting to be described. For example, in 2010, University of Toronto researchers discovered a fundamentally new view of how living cells use a limited number of genes to generate enormously complex organs, such as the brain. Recently, an altogether amazing property of the RNA molecule has been discovered in the bacterium Escherichiae coli. The RNA requires specific local structural fluctuations within a key hairpin to engender efficient contranscriptional conformational rearrangement into the functional structure. Put another way, striking new videos show how RNA, the genetic molecule that tells cells how to build proteins, tangles up in insane knots as it forms, only to distangle itself at the last second, and in a way that took scientists by surprise. Surprising indeed, this bouncing conga line of nucleotides actually forms knots that if left uncorrected would result in improper RNA function and possibly diseases. By using high-resolution videos, a unique type of RNA called signal recognition particle RNA and a computer algorithm, scientists were able to actually see the growing RNA molecule achieve its final shape. But what happens when the RNA is forming and is trapped into tangled knots? Researchers found, as more nucleotides get added to the sequence, the new nucleotides swoop in to unravel the knot by displacing the nucleotides tangled up inside. That last little nucleotide is like a trigger that allows the whole RNA to pop into the correct conformation, study author Julius Lux said. Think of the last fold in an origami project which suddenly transforms a crinkly piece of paper into a lovely butterfly. The only time evolution was mentioned in the article was to state the SNP RNA was an evolutionary ancient molecule found across all kingdoms of life. Creation scientists would say the creator used this uniquely designed molecule in all kingdoms of life, just as he used specific enzymes designed to break down food, whether the organism are bacteria, birds or blue whales. Non-evolutionists look forward to more amazing discoveries in biology that clearly points beyond the creation to the creator. Thanks for watching everyone and may you all have a blessed day.